You can download the answer in the video for free. Link in the description. The return keyword is one of the most important keywords in Godot. The key use case of return is to make a function equal the value being returned, which you can return any value so long as it matches the type of the function. Another important use case is to remove indentation from code. For this 2D platformer code, instead of writing an if statement based on the is dead variable, causing the majority of the code to gain an extra indentation, instead we can use return without a value to skip all the code below, allowing us to self-contain the if statement without needing an else or indentation for the rest of the code, making it cleaner and easier to deal with later on when working on the game. Considering that return can be used to skip code, in the case you have a lot of if statements inside of if statements, you can simplify this code by using return, by checking for the opposite of the condition and then returning, rather than checking if my var 1, 2, and 3 are true, we can just check if each is false and return. Again, keep in mind that using return with or without a value will always exit the function, causing the rest of the code below that return inside of that function to be skipped. As mentioned before, the type of the function is very important to the value that you were trying to return, and therefore make the function equal to, as in the case of a function being void, meaning that the function can't equal any value. Trying to return a value will error. However, you can still return with nothing, allowing you to at least be able to clean your code. Also, when it comes to returning a default value, if the type is something like an integer and you try to return null, you will receive an error. So instead, you should use some form of default value like zero. However, if you were returning an object or node, then null will work fine. This is just because a type like an integer can't be null, whereas an object or node can. Finally, an example of using return in your own game to improve the code. If we have this basic 2D platformer script and we want to have multiple different speeds, Speeds, one for walking, running, and crouching. Without using return, we would have to use a variable like current speed and set it with a big if statement, creating an unclean and messy code that would become a giant nightmare to deal with later on as the project grows. Instead, we can create a function like get player speed, which returns a float value. Then we use return with self-contained if statements to return the speed value that we want. Then to apply the speed, we just use the function instead of some arbitrary variable like current speed. This overall simplifies the code and contains all the different speed code into its own function, making it easy to add other types of speeds or edit the existing ones, as all we need to do is add another if statement that uses return removing the need for a long if else statement, and finally not only removes the variables for the different types of speeds, but also removes any unnecessary variables like current speed. Now you have a basic explanation of the return keyword, with multiple examples of using it, that you can add to any of your Godot games, and don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.